Welcome, Professor Francesco Dazzi, to this uh, spotlight conversation. Uh, and I wonder whether you might just tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, and in particular, of course, uh, the areas of your main research interest. So thank you very much, Richard, for this opportunity. Um, I am a, a professor of uh, regenerative and hematological uh, medicine and uh, a researcher and a clinician. My research focus is on the immunobiology of tissue stromal cells. And I've been studying these cells uh, as to how they modulate inflammation and stimulate tissue repair following an injury. So as a result of our research, we have developed uh, a clinical cell therapy program based on the infusion of these uh, cells in patients with graphic source disease. And uh, GVHD is a fatal complication of bone marrow transplant that is generated by a, a severe cytokine storm. So we have recently also discovered a new mechanism of immune suppression that has provided a critical insight to identify the patients who are more likely to respond to this therapy. So, of course, that's got a very profound, as a profound area of research and of immediate uh, clinical importance. Tell, tell me, how has that brought you into uh, wanting to at least contribute to the, a better understanding of the coronavirus and in particular, of course, SARS-CoV-2 uh, causing uh, the COVID-19 pandemic? So. Uh, I'm a clinician, as I said, so it is clearly my genes to try to solve problems. And, uh, but even more so, uh, that was quite exciting to find there was uh, an opportunity that could match my expertise. And since, in fact, the early published reports it became clear that uh, probably the main reason for fatal outcome in COVID-19 was associated with an acute respiratory distress syndrome. That is initiated, again like in GVHD, by a severe cytokine storm. So this was a clear call to see whether what we learned in another disease with the same type of uh, uh, mechanism uh, could be applicable also, also to this disease. And we're now very well equipped for with the possibility of uh, stratifying patients and select in principle the most potent of uh, the cell preparation to act upon this uh, uh, deadly uh, form. So, um, evidently, you're Italian by uh, heritage, uh, and of course, we all know that Italy has been particularly affected uh, and, and badly affected by this pandemic. Have you been able to link up with colleagues in Italy to gain some early insights uh, through their own experience? Yeah, we have. And in fact, uh, we got uh, uh, well set up in our collaboration with Milan, with the uh, San Raffaele Institute. And uh, this has uh, generated clearly an important feedback because we could uh, understand uh, some of the major pending issues that unmet needs in this disease, which is this uh, massive inflammation in the lungs, uh, which is associated also with uh, a massive microangiopathy. Um, this, uh, in principle, could all be targetable by these uh, by the cells we have been using for GVHD. So this has also provided an interesting uh, um, perspective that may help Whenever we have these conversations, of course, with uh, uh, researchers um, who are very enthusiastic about their area of expertise, the concern is always, can this truly be taken into uh, clinical, uh, the clinical environment of patients uh, to directly improve their care? What are, they, what are the challenges that you think you're facing in trying to really ensure that uh, your ideas could go into direct patient care? So uh, it's a critical point, of course, also because the logistics underlying uh, the preparation of the cells is, is far from negligible. So uh, fortunately, we have been working on this uh, and with uh, other UK centres for the last probably 10 years. Uh, 
And of course, there was a major propulsion when I joined uh, when I joined uh, King's College. Um, now we are have uh, we are on, on the verge of uh, you know setting up a company based on the pattern that we have uh, uh, developed uh, from from our research, and we are already developing strategy for strategies for wide scale manufacturing and distribution. So um, we are already in discussion with uh, manufacturing organization strategically based in Europe, Asia and US. So we hope that if the trial will prove successful, we could step in rapidly into a large scale manufacturing. Well, um, we're out of time, but I wanted to take the opportunity uh, to thank you, uh, Professor Datsi, uh, all of your team for all of the work they're doing uh, and obviously uh, utilizing the strong links that you have uh, both nationally and clearly internationally uh, to accelerate our understanding of this uh, dreadful disease. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor Trumbull.